So let's go through this again. What are we doing? We are making a Taylor series, not a McLaurin series. It's centered at three, and we're doing it for the natural log of x. We're doing it for the fine, and we're doing it quick. Don't have much time. A Taylor series looks like that. So we need derivatives. Our first derivative is 1 over x. Our second derivative is minus 1 over x squared. Our third derivative is 2, or, min or 1 times 2, over x to the third. Our fourth derivative is 2 times 3, minus, and then x to the fourth, and we quickly find our general term. Looks like it's going to be to the minus 1, minus 1 to the minus 1, because my even terms need to be negative, and then it's n minus 1 factorial, because we see we got that 1 less than the derivative we're taking, and it's all over x to the n. Then we go and we evaluate this at 3. We see our first term is the natural log of 3. Our second is 1 third. Our third is minus 1 to the, or minus 1 divided by 3 squared. Our third is minus 1 divided by 3 to the third. Our fourth is minus 1 times 2 times 3 divided by 3 to the fourth. And then our nth derivative evaluated at 3 is minus 1 to the n minus 1, n minus 1 factorial divided by 3 to the n. So now we're going to go and we're going to make our Taylor series, but we notice that our first term doesn't fit the form of our nth derivative. So we're just going to leave it out there and start our series at 1. I replaced 3's everywhere where I saw an a, and now let's go ahead and put in our general term. I'll put it in blue. It's what we found down there. That's that. And then I rewrite everything else I need in my Taylor series. So, I get a reduction in my factorials, and, huh, we're done. Except we need to find the radius of convergence, and that's in another video.